Hello everyone, my name is Sanya Mahajan. I am a legal intern in a Lexus company, and to- today's topic is formation of an incorporation of company. As we all know, company, what's it's called? It's an artificial person, according to Companies Act 2013, and it is an invisible and intangible person having a separate legal entity from its members with perpetual succession. There is the formation of a company is a legal process. It involves many steps, and that those are promotion stage, registration and incorporation stage, commencement of business stage. First stage is promotion stage. Promotion stage is the process of discovery and investigation of a business opportunities, planning, organizing, issue of a physical and financial and human resources with the view of a former of a company. Here the promoter is a group of persons or a person who conceive the idea of a formation of a company and take necessary step for its formation control all the affairs of the company play the role of a shareholder or the board of directors and can advise or direct give directions and instructions to the other team members as we know a promoter is not an agent nor a trustee fiduciary relation to the company promoter has there are some legal formalities in order to form the company Thus, uh, for that, uh, they have to decide the register place of a company, get the name approved and register by the registrar, etc. And getting the company incorporated, ensuring subscription to the initial capital, ensuring verification by the registered office within with the period of 30 days of company incorporation and controlling the affairs of a company. Basic duty of a promoter is to disclose all the material facts and does not make a profit out of it or to make full disclosure of a property brought and and not to make unfair use of his position and to disclose the interest in the transactions. Constitution and incorporation of a company and it's a second stage for the formation of a company. And a company come into existence only after registration and issue of a certificate of incorporation to it. In order to file an application for registration, there is a need of some documents that is notice of address of communication and memorandum of a company, approval of sectoral regulators, article of a company, particulars of every subscribers and particulars of directors etc. There is a third step in registration of a document where there uh, that is scrutiny and registration of a document and this step is for rectification of work done by authorized person if any of the defect is found in a document he will rectify it through his legal process. Last but not the least, issue of certificate for incorporation is done and on the registration of all the documents and information, registrar will issue a certificate of incorporation in the form of INC 11 to the effect that proposed company is incorporated under the Act Section 7 Clause 2 and uh, Rule uh, INC 18 and issue a company and corporate identity number that is CIN. As per according to the latest provision of a company's act, every company is entitled to get commenced as soon as it obtained the certificate of incorporation and no other formalities is required to comply with it. Company basically is an artificial person and for that in order to work in a proper way uh, it need a human resource that is the director of a company who will make sure that a company must reg- must be regulated in a proper way so guys this was all about formation of a company and if you need any information regarding it please do write in the comment section and if you like 
it please to subscribe this channel also lexus and company